I'm Yashis and this is your FTC in 90. To start things off, let's go into some of the changes made in the newest FTC team update, number 6. In section 10.3.1 pertaining to scoring elements, it is stated that samples must fully cover the spike marks and can be adjusted in front of the drive team before the match provided there is no delay and the sample still covers the spike mark. If the spike mark is not the proper size, the best effort should be made to cover. In section 11.4.2 regarding the 8 seconds in between autonomous and teleop, robots must remain completely motionless. Any powered movement of the robot or any of its mechanisms is not allowed during the transition period between autonomous and teleop and will result in a major foul and potentially a yellow card. However, movement that occurs due to non-powered movement, such as inertia, gravity, or de-energizing actuators, is not a violation of this rule. Next up, shout out to Team 2240 Slingshot for their incredible 5 plus 0 autonomous demonstration on the FTC Discord, showcasing an incredible robot for this season. Check them out on Instagram at Slingshot2240. Be sure to check out a replay of the FTC Top 25 voting on the Fun Robotics Network YouTube channel. Shout out to the team 10644 Cybugs for getting voted number one. Make sure you vote for the FTC Top 25 in future months. Your vote matters. I'm Yashis and that's your 90 second update.